Hi, in this video, we will learn how to lazy load a component in Angular 9. I am Dhananjay Kumar for Geek97. We will cover how to use import statement inside async await function to lazy load a component. Then we will cover how we can use import statement with dot then method. Also, we will see that how we can pass data to lazy loaded component. And then how we can work with dependent modules inside the lazy loaded component. To start with what I have done, I have created an Angular app using Angular CLI. As you see, I have app component here. Inside app component, there is one property title. And then using interpolation, I am just displaying that uh, property. As of now, application looks like this. And we are going to lazy load a component right here. So to lazy load a component, let us first generate a component. And again, uh, use Angular CLI. And we are using uh, the flag skip import such that Angular would not import this component inside the module. So here a grid component should have got created. And we have grid component right here in the application created. And we are going to learn that how we can lazy load grid component inside app component. Now let us write some code inside grid component. Uh, we wish to pass some data here. So for that use input decorator. Let's get message string and then we'll say send message event and that is new event emitter. Now why I have created an input decorated property and an event emitter because we would learn that how we can handle these two scenarios when a, when grid component is lazily loaded. We don't need this style URL so get rid of that and in the template uh, what I'm going to do I'm going to put this code so here it's pretty simple template we send the greetings and then we are displaying that greet message right here through the interpolation and let's call it h3 and then there's a button on click of that button we would call a function say greet and then that uh, event raised by this button should be handled inside the parent component so to do that let's go and first add a function greet here and that is just uh, import uh, emitting the event so all right our greet component is ready and let's see that how we can uh, lazy load it to lazy load in the app component, uh, here I have added a button and on click of this button, we'll load a grid component. And here this is the function we are going to use on the click of the button. So the first thing what you need to do, you need to inject two classes uh, to work with lazy load. And those are view container ref and component factory resolver. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to say hey, private and V container ref and other class which I uh, need to inject here is component factory resolver. Now, what view container ref does that it is actually represents a container where one or more views can be attached. You can attach a view which is uh, created using a create component method inside the view container ref. And component factory resolver class acts like a registry. It keeps information about the component and the factory class which is being created for that component. So to lazy load a component, you need view container ref and component factory resolver. And I have injected them inside the constructor. Next, what uh, we need to do that we need to use import uh, a statement inside this function. So let's say const and we want grid component and here we'll say that import it from the file grid that component. Now we wish to import it in a lazy uh, loaded manner. So we need to import it asynchronously and for that let us we, uh, use await statement and you can use await statement only inside async function. So here we have attributed that function as async. All right. Once it is loaded, what we can say here that hey, 
use view container ref create component method and inside this pass component factory resolver resolve component factory resolve and and give me the factory for grid component so first what we are doing here in line number 17 we loaded the file and grid component from that file and after that we are using right here a view container ref create component method and inside that passing component factory resolvers resolve component factory this should able to uh, create the component and host it inside that particular view container ref so let us go ahead and run this and when you run this you see that it uh, that grid component is being loaded here one thing you will notice here that as you click on this grid of button of app component as many times you click here that grid component is being loaded there so to fix that what we can do if we want to load it only once right here we'll say that and then we'll clear it all right so each time before uh, loading the component we are clearing view container ref and you see that we are getting just to one component once that grid component being loaded now other thing you notice that we are not uh, passing value for the grid message and if we click on that button uh, how to handle that so here we'll see that how we can pass data to lazy loaded component and how we can handle events being raised in lazy loaded component inside the parent component and that is very easy to do here you see that uh, this grid comp variable contains reference of this uh, lazy loaded component so we'll say grid comp dot instance and here you see that you are getting all the properties and events we can pass grid masses as i am passed from parent and then we'll say that uh, right now if you uh, check output you see that we are getting i passed from parent now to handle this uh, uh, event say grid come dot instance and then we have this event send message event we can subscribe to that and inside that say console.log and let's print whatever is being uh, passed from the uh, lazy loaded component here all right so here greet and you see that uh, when you click on say hello you are getting that message hello from grid component and we are passing that right from here hello from grid component so it's very simple to work with input decorated properties and output decorated properties of the child component here uh, you just have to subscribe to the events or just set the property as you see in line number 21. next let us see how we can work with dependent modules so for example uh, in grid component right here uh, put an input type text all right and then we are going to use ng model with message here all right and then i'll just display that message uh, below here saying hello Masses. Now we know that ng model uh, and there uh, depends on the form models. We'll we'll get there later. But before that, uh, display a property message string. All right. So here I have de uh, declared a variable message string, and using ng model, which is dependent on an external model called forms model, inside a component which we are going to lazy load. Now let's see that what is happening. You see that you are getting an out uh, error here that can't bind to ng model since it is not a, a known property of input uh, you can consider this scenario for any external module you are using inside a component which you are going to lazy load so to fix it you got to declare a module in the same 
file in the same file where the component is being created. So in the grid.component.ts, we would go here and create a class and let's say that I'll call it a grid component module. All right. And then I will just decorate it with ng module. All right. And inside this ng model, we'll say that declare this grid component. And then in the imports array, in the imports array, we can pass that external module which we want to use. Here it is forms module. All right, so what I have what I have done, and then we got to import it here, forms module if and here let us go and uh, say that import forms module from angular forms now i guess it should work so what i have done we have uh, uh, just created a module in the same file and then passing this uh, forms module and whatever external module you want to pass inside the imports array and now we should able to use it and Angular should not complain about it. Here is saying that compile successfully. Right here, greet. And we'll say that in G India, you see that everything is working fine here. Now let us see that how we can uh, load the component inside ng template. So far, we are just loading it in a generic view container. So for that in app component template, let us say that we have a ng template, grid temp, and we wish to now load uh, uh, this grid component right here inside the ng template. So once we have this, go to app.component.ts and you got to access uh, that uh, ng template as a view child. So we'll say that here, view child, and the name we gave was grid team. So take that from there and pass it here, grid team. And then we want to read it as view container ref. All right, and then let's say private grid view container ref is of type view container ref. All right, so here uh, we have uh, created a variable grid view container ref, and this variable is actually view child of this uh, ng template, which is represented by grid temp. Now to load a uh, grid component inside this uh, view container ref, not in the generic, only what you need to do, instead of generic vc ref, you can just pass it here and everything should be Fine, here I'm saying I'm passed from parent ABC. And in this case, also you don't have to inject it inside the constructor. You can uh, get rid of that. And here we can say that clear uh, grid view container ref. All right, so what I have done, I had that ng, uh, ng template right here. I read that uh, as a view child in line number nine. And, uh, and read that ng template as a view container ref and then using that uh, to load the component. So here, if you go, you see that uh, we are getting this greeting I passed from the parent and uh, everything is working, working as expected. The last thing in this video is that how we can use dot then instead of instead of async and await. Right now you see that uh, we are importing uh, that file asynchronously. And since we are using await, we need to use async. We may come across a requirement when we cannot make a function async. In that case, we need to rely on JavaScript promises dot then method. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy this uh, function right here and then comment it and then let us say we don't want to make it async. So of course we cannot use await here. So get rid of that also. 
and then what we can say and then get rid of this guy from here too we'll say that hey import this and once it is imported then do whatever you wish to do and then we can say that okay once it is imported then here greet component and now you can put every code whatever you want once that a component is lazy loaded right here so you see that uh, what we have done uh, we are using dot then and and then uh, it's a promise so dot then would be executed if promises is, is returned successfully and then inside that uh, we are creating the component and uh, resolving the component fact resolve uh, resolvable and all so this should uh, help you not to use async and await and you can rely on dot then method so right here we are here and you see that uh, everything is working as expected so this is what all i have for uh, working with lazy loaded component in angular 9 uh, in this uh, video uh, we learned about how we can use import inside async event function how we can use with dot den method how we can pass data to lazy loaded component how we can do the dependent models in lazy loaded component and also we saw that how to work with ng template keep in mind only thing is the import method and then everything is uh, everything is super easy you got to just uh, inject view container ref and component factory resolver uh, i hope you find this video useful thank you for watching it i am dhananjay kumar